Hey guys, Mom Vernick here, back again. How's everybody doing? Welcome back to non comic lineup. Yeah, uh, this time around, we're gonna talk about Hydra. Yeah, Hydra. Um, so, I'm gonna give you my non comic lineup of Hydra. But first, as always, guys, what do I do with non-comic lineup? What do I do with this segment? If you're not really familiar with the the team or the characters, or I kind of give you a little 101, little crash course. Now, I think we all should know Hydra. Um, it's a fictional terrorist organization in Marvel Comics that pretty much their name kind of is reference to the mythical Greek mythical monster and their motto is also prefers to the same thing of the the, the Hydra uh, you know if you cut off one head two more grows back in its place and and pretty much that's kind of how Hydra is just when you think you may hi have Hydra down they they spring up again it's almost like you can't really take them down because it's almost like someone is always willing to take over leadership of this organization. Now, Hydra first appeared in Strange Tales number 135. In its original continuity, it was headed by um, a businessman, which I found out. I, I totally f forgot about this, um, that it was... It was um, it was uh, led by uh, a businessman known as uh, Arnold Brown, uh, but he was killed by Shield, and and they pretty much crushed the organization from there. But then Hydra returned, and this time it was read, led by uh, uh, Baron Wolfgang von Strucker, you know, and w with also a little bit of support by, of course. Uh, the Red Skull himself, and that's kind of when they retcon the origin afterwards. And and even even after that, guys, Hydra kind of branched out um, into several different branches, um, in, including like AIM and the Secret Empire. You know, they became like independent. But yeah, there have been a lot of. Uh, Hydra's been around for a long time. They are pretty much the anti-shield. They want world domination through terrorism and, you know, different kinds of acts. Basically, fascist new world order. That's pretty much the way to look at it. So, yeah, that's pretty much the basis of Hydra, as you all know it. Now... If I was to do take non -com American comic characters and make them and make a new Hydra, who would I pick? Now, the one thing I, I did is kind of like I did with um, my Shield lineup. I did the head of Shield, and then I did basically their top agents. So this is that's what I'm gonna do here for Hydra as well. I'm going to do the head of shield, head of Hydra, excuse me, and their top and its top agents. So I hope you guys enjoy, and I'm looking forward to hearing your lineup. All right, so let's start off with the head of my Hydra. And when I thought about it, I was like, who could I see taking over, doing leading Hydra? Maybe even better than Red Skull and even Baron Von Strucker has. And I went to the world of Resident Evil. And I went with motherfucking Albert Wesker. I started thinking about it and I'm like, could you imagine Wesker and his Hydra? Could you imagine him combining Hydra with his bioweapons and Ouroboros and all the other things? and he would be another, he would be one of those villain, those leader of a villain group that I've always feel like if you're a leader of a villain group, you shouldn't just come off as a cowardly chump. And Wesker, let's face it guys, he ain't no chump. 
he is no Trump. So you think about it. Here's a guy that if whoever would come face to face with Wesker, it would be like, oh shit. Now, that's the way I look at it. Albert Wesker would be the leader of my non-comic Hydra. So let's move on to the next um, member of the team. Um, and he would kind of also be like the second in command after uh, Wesker. But also, I can also see him being one of those guys that be having a, a side agenda, hidden agenda to maybe even take over Hydra. And that's none other than the Major from Helsing. This motherfucker. Jesus Christ. You talk about a fascist, Nazi, scumbag. You're looking at him. I could see the major basically saying, yeah, yeah, yeah. We, I so follow you, Hell Wesker, and be all, be all humble and everything about it. Respect Wesker's power. But on the sideline, he'd be saying, yeah. Oh, I will also try to see you fall, and I should take over Hydra. You know, you, he he has that mannerism of basically being like, yeah. He you know he's he's also a, he's a schemer, and he also has that 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 side of like, yeah, I can lead better than Wesker can. But yeah, in a sense, kind of like Star Screen. You know, he's always trying to take over the Decepticons from Megatron. I can see the the major being that too. Uh, but almost always in some ways failing because he doesn't know the weaknesses of Wesker. But Wesker would also keep an eye on him to be like very aware. But yeah, the major would be the the uh, the second in command of Hydra. But also, but when they put their minds together, whew, think about that. All right. So next up. Uh, on the list would kind of be the brains of Hydra as well as uh, but basically uh, one of the ones that be, would supply a lot of the tech as well and it's probably he's probably one of my favorite he's my favorite Johnny Quest villain and that's uh, Dr. Zinn uh, descendant of Genghis Khan himself as he's always said he is uh, he would supply Hydra with a lot of the the famous robots that he's we, he's he's used in uh, you've seen in Johnny Quest, and he's another one that also would look at himself as being, you know, I'm more superior to the major than than he is. So why should why should I be I shouldn't be I should be second in command. So there'd be a lot of egos as well, which Hydra has always been about too. It's like there's a lot of egos on Hydra, but Zen would definitely be that guy's. Like Wesker would come to Zen and be like, "What do you have for me now, Doctor? Like, what special weapons do we have now? You know, for our our foot soldiers or something like that, or what to use to deal with, you know, any kind of." opposition that Hydra may come up against. So yeah, I can see Dr. Zinn being that guy. Now the one thing Hydra's always been good at and always has had is assassins. Guys that take people out because they can, because they want to. And um, I looked at this and I was like, okay, who would Wesker trust if they wanted to do a silent kill get the job done without anybody knowing about it. So I looked at it and I was like, Wesker, if Wesker thought, okay, we need, we want to do this right, but leave a marking that it was Hydra that did it, who would you, who would he get? So I think when he would, he would be scheming and Wesker would say, okay, send in this man. Kai Ling to take out whoever he wants. Now, yeah, Kai Ling from Mass Effect. Uh, 
this motherfucker, as you all know, um, is the one responsible for uh, killing Bane. It was a tragic scene, you know. But let's get let's 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 get one thing straight. He killed Thane, but let's remember Thane was dying as it is, so he was kind of. If Thane was at his full, I don't think he would have killed him. But even still, Thane put up a hell of a fight. But still, throughout Mass Effect Three, Kyling was that guy to go to for the elusive man. He was the elusive man go-to guy to get stuff done, and that's how I look at with Wesker. Wesker could rely on Kai Ling to get things done. Kai Ling, I need you to assassinate the the president of Mexico. Kai Ling would do it. I need you to take the Prime Minister of England hostage and kill him on national TV or something like that. Kai Ling would do it. He's got the stealth, he's got the weaponry, and Kai Ling is just as brutal and dangerous as Wesker is. Now, if Albert wanted to make a ruckus and he wanted to make a statement in terms of being loud and pr showcasing that Hydra has the power, then he would send in this guy to do it. And that's none other than Brian motherfucking Fury. Um, let, let's face it, Brian Fury is a walking one-man army. Um, we've seen this guy take out cavalries by himself. And this would be Albert's WMD to go to if he wanted to make a statement. He would say, Major, send in Fury. You know, and they basically, you, you can go out. And all you can probably hear Fury just do that creepy, fucking creepy laugh that he does. And I'm not going to do it. I can do it, but I'm not going to do it. <laughs> and uh, just enjoy himself taking out whatever Wesker gives him a direction. Bam, he's going at it. So, yeah. Now, there's nothing more than having the wrath of a woman. But also having the brains and the tactical skills as well. And that's why I feel that this woman right here, the Baroness, would make a good, basically a good uh, member of uh, Hydra. Hell, she already she worked for an organization similar to Hydra, Cobra. And the thing I think people forget is the Baroness is highly skilled, and she's so tactically sound people forget that that she's so tactically sound like she can anticipate someone's movement very quickly and she, i feel that wesker would use her as that that person like what are your okay baroness how do you feel about how do you feel about going this battle would go what do you feel and she would give it give her opinion on it as well uh, but let's not forget that this girl is this raven hair beauty is just as dangerous as well so don't let the good looks fool you and I thought about it and I'm like okay one of uh, the super powered agents of Hydra who would it be and I was like okay you got Wesker who else would Wesker trust or just feel like he can use his talent. And I thought about it and I said, oh, Tremor from Mortal Kombat. Now, this guy is a, he has geokinesis, like rock is, he can make earthquakes and things like that. And this is a guy that I can feel be, he's another one that Wesker would use when need be to cause maybe natural disasters or do things that uh once again a little bit more on the the side of like that was more of a natural disaster that caused it not us and he wesker's no dummy so you know 
I can see him using Tremor a lot as well. But also uh, being a guy as maybe Wesker's one of his enforcers. You know, even though Wesker doesn't need an enforcer, but yeah, somebody, if you want to get to Wesker, you got to get through Tremor. And the last two members, basically, these two ladies would be definitely the uh, the right hand, the right and left hand of Wesker. You know, the ones that kind of watch over him wherever he goes, in a sense, they serve Wesker. Uh, these two dangerous femme fatales. Mature and Vice from SNK, King of Fighters. Oh my god, these two girls are just, they love to torture, harm, maim, you name it. When these two get together, it is exactly what kind of they are known to do. Disassemble, hurt and enjoy it so these two would be definitely Wesker's like right hand women like the ones that are by his side almost all the time um, and you gotta get through them to get to Wesker uh, these two ruthless ladies are just oh my god let me just let's just say if I was to rate them on a on a scale of uh, how could I put it? on a scale of how many times I've seen these two enjoy hurting people, it wouldn't be <laughs> it just would not be it would be very very high. Uh, mature and vice. The cruel girls that's what they are and they they get off on hurting people so there you guys have it guys my non comic lineup of Hydra um, I hope you guys enjoy as always um, and I hope to see what you guys bring to the table uh, for the this this uh, group that I put together um, as always I'll be back again with the next um, the next the next uh, episode I'm trying to remember who's next what was next on my list um, remember doing the list so let me punch it up real quick to see and the next is, oh, we're doing another villain squad, the Injustice League. Okay, so I will see you guys next time when I bring you the Injustice League. Uh, but don't worry, I'll get a hero out there, because after that, I do the heroes for hire. So, don't worry, you'll see some more, guys. But other than that, you guys take care.